frequently asked questions about visiting Cambodia. If you're considering a trip to Cambodia, you're in for a remarkable experience. This Southeast Asian gem is renowned for its ancient temples, lush landscapes, and vibrant culture. However, like any travel destination, Cambodia comes with its own set of questions and uncertainties. In this article, we'll answer some of the most frequently asked questions about visiting Cambodia, ensuring you're well prepared for your journey. 1. What is the best time to visit Cambodia? Cambodia experiences two distinct seasons, the dry season, from November to April, and the wet season, from May to October. The best time to visit is during the dry season when you can explore the temples and outdoor attractions comfortably. However, if you prefer fewer crowds and lush greenery, the wet season might be ideal for you. 2. Do I need a visa to enter Cambodia? Yes, most travelers need a visa to enter Cambodia. You can obtain a tourist visa upon arrival at the airport or border checkpoints, or you can apply for an e-visa online before your trip. Make sure your passport is valid for at least six months beyond your planned departure date. 3. What currency is used in Cambodia? The official currency of Cambodia is the Cambodian Riel, KHR, but the US dollar is widely accepted and even preferred for larger transactions. It's advisable to carry a mix of US dollars and Riel for your convenience. 4. Is Cambodia safe for tourists? Cambodia is generally a safe destination for tourists. Like in any other country, exercise basic precautions, such as safeguarding your belongings, avoiding isolated areas at night, and being aware of your surroundings. The local people are friendly and welcoming. 5. What should I wear when visiting temples? When visiting temples, it's essential to dress modestly as a sign of respect. Both men and women should cover their shoulders and knees. Carrying a scarf or a shawl can be handy to drape over your shoulders when necessary. 6. What are the must-visit attractions in Cambodia? Cambodia boasts a wealth of attractions, but the most famous is the Angkor Wat Temple Complex in Siem Reap. Other notable places include Phnom Penh's Royal Palace, the stunning beaches of Sihanoukville, and the charming riverside town of Kampot. 7. Is it safe to drink tap water in Cambodia? It's not recommended to drink tap water in Cambodia. Stick to bottled water, which is widely available, and make sure any ice used in drinks is also made from purified water. 8. What's the local cuisine like? Cambodian cuisine is diverse and delicious. Don't miss trying dishes like a muk, a coconut-based curry, lak lak, marinated beef, and fresh seafood from the coastal areas. Street food is also popular and worth exploring for a taste of local flavors. 9. How can I learn some basic Khmer phrases? While many Cambodians in the tourist industry speak English, learning a few Khmer phrases can enhance your experience. Common phrases like, hello, sousti, and, thank you, orkin, are appreciated by locals. 10. What vaccinations do I need before traveling to Cambodia? Consult your healthcare provider or a travel clinic for up-to-date vaccination recommendations. Generally, vaccinations for hepatitis A, typhoid, and tetanus are advisable. Malaria prophylaxis may also be necessary depending on your itinerary. 11. How much does a tourist visa for Cambodia cost? The cost of a tourist visa for Cambodia varies, but it's typically around $30 for a one-month visa. 12. Are credit cards widely accepted in Cambodia? Credit cards are becoming more widely accepted in major cities and tourist areas, but it's advisable to carry cash, especially in rural areas. 13. Can I visit Cambodia without seeing Angkor Wat? While Angkor Wat is a highlight, Cambodia has much more to offer. You can certainly enjoy your trip without visiting the temples, but they are a must-see for history and architecture enthusiasts. 14. What's the best way to get around Cambodia? Tuk-tuks, taxis, and rental bicycles are common modes of transportation in Cambodia. For longer distances, consider domestic flights or buses. 
15. Are there any cultural etiquette tips I should be aware of when visiting Cambodia? Yes, it's important to show respect to the local culture. Remove your shoes before entering someone's home, and when in doubt, observe and follow the lead of the locals in terms of behavior and customs. Visiting Cambodia offers a chance to immerse yourself in a rich cultural tapestry and explore awe-inspiring historical sites. By addressing these frequently asked questions, we hope we've provided valuable insights to help you plan your journey with confidence. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks for watching our video. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more exciting content in the future. Stay tuned for the latest updates and don't miss out on our upcoming videos by clicking that subscribe button.